Hi. Yes, it's later in the day. Hello, Thursday. Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. Yes, the sun is out. The dogs are still napping. Yes, and we're going to do a flip through of Crochet World. 24 patterns perfect for celebrating the Christmas season. I read that all backwards. I have an IQ about 24. Okay. Below that, handmade holidays. I can't read that tiny print. Festive thread pieces. 18 jolly and bright Christmas designs. Yes. All right. Okay. And this is our entry page. Ooh, what do we see? Snowman. That is a tree skirt made out of, is it thread? It looks like thread, but I loved it. Look at the reindeer up in the sky. I want to make it. I like that blanket too. I'm not sure about the snowman. Okay. You will get my honest opinion in this. Okay. First off, rewind. We're going back. Back in time. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm Mel. Welcome to Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie. New, old, you're not old, you're returning, but you know what I mean. Anyway, look, I sort of did my hair. I put barrettes in. Why is it wavy? Because it's clean. It does that. The minute I brush it, it goes straight again. Yes. <laughs> Which I just told you I didn't brush my hair. Yeah. No. Um, but when it's wet, it goes wavy. It only started doing that in my 30s. I got it cut in a bob. And when it grew out, it started waving. Weird weirdness yeah we all know it happens anyway we're here for a magazine aren't we well no we're here for my comedy and is it comedy do i try it no it is just me that is me yeah okay so ooh, there's a special introductory offer offer does it have anything to do with yarn or crochet no it is weird Christmas stuff. Nutcrackers. Weird. We I would swear right now. I was raised by two sailors. My mom and my bio dad met in the Navy. So do I have... Oh my lord! My dog... Yes, this... Okay, the tripod is balanced on my tablet on my laptop tablet, on my bed. One of my dogs is being really good <laughs> and laying down. And the other one is stepping right where it dips the bed. Guess which one? <laughs> okay. And making the whole thing try to fall over. <laughs> Sorry, I have tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> Hi, Ziva. You were fine. Okay, now I have to make room for her so she'll settle beside... Oh, yeah, this is what she she'll hug you. She'll actually lay her head on your chest. They say dogs don't like to be held and hugged. She likes to be held in a headlock. And then she grunts happily. Oh, my God. This dog. Okay, so... I'm on babysitting duty, apparently. Yeah, okay. Nothing. Just, you want creepy stuff in your house? Here's the offer. Okay. Popular holiday decor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there's what you got to do. Mm. Okay. It's not focusing, probably because my face is in there. Pause it. Get it. All right. All good. <sighs> Apparently my hands are so dry. That I can't turn pages. Is that a page? I don't know. Okay. Very scrappy lapgan. I don't know why it's in a magazine. 
what makes it something that you can't do on your own. It says confident beginner measures 30 inches wide by 44 inches long. You need a four weight yarn. They say Plymouth Encore worsted medium. It's a acrylic wool yarn. You need six skeins and it's 200 yards per skein. Oh, you need six skeins of the sand and two balls of 25 other colors. Yeah, I pull faces. If you're new here, I pull faces. Um, a J hook. Just to make a 38 by 44 inch blanket. Um, oh wait, it says the other balls are a half to a three quarter ounce ball. What? But they're only, they're, they're making this very confusing to me. It says two seven and a half ounce balls with a half to three quarter ounces each of 25 other colors. Oh, so you only need a half to three quarter ounces of 25 other colors. That's why it's scrappy. You only need about that much of each color. Okay. To form the balls of yarn, so you need two seven and a half ounce balls. So 15 ounces of the scrap yarns. And to form the balls, you tie the lengths together of the scrap colors and roll into a large ball. And if you're using the same colors, you make the second ball by rolling it with the similar colors, but in reverse. So if you went purple, red, green in the first one, you go green, red, purple. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going into this. Um, anyway, but that is what it looks like. And you run the tan along with the colors each time blah 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 and this is going to take forever if I do this black tie penguin pillow that's kind of cute it's marked as easy it's 14 inch square it's a medium four acrylic and a G hook and an MN hook I always wonder why do they have an MN hook and it's like interchangeable between M and N. Why has M not gotten its own number and N not gotten its own number? Anyway, let me try to. There is the pink black tie penguin pillow. Okay. But it says it's easy. You need a pillow form or a small amount. Oh no, you need a pill form and a small amount of fiber fill. It's probably for its nose. Okay. Holiday Lace Doily. You are using number 10 crochet cotton in Christmas red and a steel crochet hook. Now if you want to make it really big, do it in regular yarn, a small weight yarn, and a regular hook. Make it bigger. And there we go. Bring it in. Siva, put your head down. Thank you. But that is pretty. And what difficulty is that? That is easy. So... Special stitches are a beginning shell and a shell. So, 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we have here? A ginger bear. No, he is not the kind of ginger who steals souls. As my sister would say, she loves to make fun of red-headed people. But she does not mean it. She loves gingers. Um, she just loves to be snarky. We are snarky in this family. And we love that phrase, snarky. So they used a four weight Red Heart Super Saver. Um, in one, two, three, four, five, six colors. But the only one that used anywhere near where they say a skein was the main color of Cafe Latte. I just wanted to say that. They used an H hook, fiber fill, stitch marker, blah, blah, blah. And it's marked as easy, so it's an Ami that's easy. And look at the ginger bear. Look at the ginger bear. He's so cute. How big do they say? They say he's going to be approximately eight and a half inches. That's not a bad size. And ex that's excluding the holly leaves and about five inches wide. So that's not bad. And they teach you to do the invisible decrease. So, yeah, you might learn some new stitches. Wow. They are putting the rest of some of the patterns in the middle of the book. They don't usually do that. They usually put it at the back. Okay. Scrappy puppet pair. All right. If you're scared of puppets... I mean, they're not clown puppets, so it's not a double whammy, but, um, the puppets. Um, scrappy puppet pair. Another four weight. They're doing a lot of four weight. Um, I passed on a magazine the other, another Christmas magazine because it was all thread. I don't. Do a lot of thread. I want to work with thread, but I'm not doing it right now. And it was like 75% thread. And I was like, no. So I also did not like what they were doing with the thread. So I passed on that magazine. Scrappy Puppet Pair. They're using Red Heart Super Saver. And um, 18 assorted scrap colors, including black and red. So you've got to have black and red, apparently. Um... They're using Cafe Latte again. And Buff. I think I actually have Buff in my, uh, in my stash. And, uh, H hook. Ooh, a B hook. That's like a, it says it's a 2.25. A D hook, 3.25. Okay, so here they come. B warned. B warned. Oh my god, they're actually kind of cute. They're actually kind of cute. They're doggies. They're puppies. Okay. You can make them whatever you want. I mean, you can make different ears. You can get... But... Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't! I mean... Come on. I see sandworms. Beetlejuice. I want to make them into sand put teeth in there you make them the colors Ray Ray are you with me okay I don't know why I automatically jumped to Ray I'm gonna tag her but I, I automatically thought of her with Beetlejuice and sandworms <laughs> okay okay she she will back me up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see what these are now. I see what these are now. I couldn't tell in the beginning. Hot chocolate snowmen. Okay. 
Okay, use baby food jars. This is an easy. And you use a sport weight cotton yarn and a, and a lace weight yarn. Wow, we are going fine here. And a cotton, okay, it says a cotton thread, but then it says a zero lace. Pick your poison already. An F, an F hook and a seven steel crochet hook. Now that's not it. You got to make sure you've got the steel crochet hook seven, not the seven crochet hook. Got to read what it says. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the picture. And you get the baby food jars and you put the marshmallows in one of them. And I'm, I'm going to look. Tacky glue, two inch diameter lid. I'm going to see what they say you're putting in each of them because there are two with white powder. I'm, I don't know if you're putting like, you know, milk powder in one and cocoa powder in the other. Let me see. They better tell you what to put in them because I would be putting cocoa powder in one, marshmallows in another, and more cocoa powder in the other. I like rich hot chocolate. But it's no good if they don't tell you what you're supposed to be putting in them. Come on, man. Continued on 29. We will pause here. Okay, head jar. Fill with hot, white hot cocoa mix. What the what? Fill the middle jar with hot cocoa mix and bottom jar with marshmallows. What is white hot cocoa mix? I don't want white chocolate. Cocoa? No. No, no. Chocolate. Hot cocoa mix. No. You know, okay, listen, I live next to Hershey. They have a ride that shows you how chocolate is made. You know white chocolate does not actually have chocolate in it. It is the fat solids without the cocoa right? It doesn't have cocoa. It, it doesn't have chocolate in it. It's the butter solids. There's no chocolate. White chocolate is not chocolate. I like white chocolate sometimes, like in the cookies and cream bars. And then I will also make these cookies that are um, lemon white chocolate cookies. I have a video <laughs> of an epic fail because I cannot get cookies to rise where I am. I have eight years. No, they fail. Um, but don't mess with my chocolate chocolate. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take white chocolate sometimes, like in those two, or lemon white chocolate cookies. Once in a while, white chocolate macadamia cookies. And the cookies and cream bars from Hershey's. But don't ever tell me white chocolate is chocolate. <laughs> I know better. So white chocolate, hot cocoa. No. Okay, so but that is that. All right, that was my tirade for that. We're already up to 19 minutes. Okay, so that's that. If you're finding anything in this book that you think is worth it, um... Yeah, it's only $5.99 in the U.S. And it's on sale to be displayed until December 26th. So this is cute. It's the winter set tic-tac-toe. Also an easy. Everything seems to be easy right now. Though working with lace weight on that one did not seem like it was going to be easy. Working with lace weight never does. This is easy. Scapier's. 
I learned to say that word, Scapier Soft Fun Light DK Weight Cotton and Acrylic Yarn. I guess it's a mix. Um, you're going to need seven skeins and they're 153 yards each. A D, an F, and a G hook. But this is adorable. I'm going to show it to you. So that is it. And I'm not sure if it's a bag inside to hold the pieces. Let me check. Get, oh, yes, it's a game board tote. So if they go inside. I think that's adorable. Now, I'm get. You can, it's a DK weight. Use your DK weight. But that is adorable. And it looks like Trees one. So. Alright. Simply Scrappy Tunisian Slippers. We're doing a bit of Scrappy in here, aren't we? Alright, so. Guess what? Easy. Um... Instructions given to fit U.S. women's shoe size 5 to 7, changes for women's sizes 8 to 10, and 11 to 13 are in brackets. Ziva has come over to see me again. Imagine that. So, they, may, they show a picture of them in, in red, white, and blue for Christmas. Okay. Apparently, you do them in rectangles and then sew them up. Okay. Hi. Hi, yeah. What you want? I don't know. I don't know what you... No, we do not paw mommy. We, we, we do also do not knock over mommy's stuff. Lay down. I made you a spot. Lay down. Come here. Come over here. I don't want to eat your ear. Thank you. We are very crooked now. It's still crooked. I have to make it crooked to me to make it straight. I think we're very crooked still. I don't know. Much adjusting. Much adjusting, people. I don't know what straight is anymore. Okay. I'll be surprised if anything in here, this goes to in, just as I say it, intermediate, yes, yes it does, Happy Blooms Blanket, happy, happy blooms, okay, Red Heart Comfort for medium, um, wow, 867 yards per Ball? Yeah, that's a lot of yards per ball. Um, and you need a seven hook. There are a lot of colors. How is it you only need two balls? Wait, you need two balls of black. 85 yards each of assorted colors. I'm very confused by the instructions, but you need a lot of colors. And I'm going to show you this lovely granny square blanket. Okay. And it fits. That looks like a full-size bed. So, lovely Happy Blooms blanket. Apparently, that's intermediate. To make, gr well, there are fancy granny squares and there are regular colors from your overflowing basket of scrap yarn will come together to create this cozy and charmer charming winter blanket that is sure to appeal to all with its unique artistic flair. Unique artistic Because you have never seen granny squares like this. Okay. And then here um, is more of the 
some of the patterns in the world of crochet. Crochet Portraiture by Will Chatlosh. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I just need to show you this because this, this man right here, Will Chatlosh, Ziva, do not do that, has made a, that random portrait in black and white. This Marilyn Monroe portrait in crochet. Look how big that is. But that is amazing. And then this one of his mother. I am just gobsmacked. And if you get this magazine, you will be able to read about it. Apparently... I will just read this little paragraph. Will and his best friend Natalia spent summers in high school selling their crocheted pieces. Together they had a crochet page on Instagram. Will later created his own social media when he was 15. Yeah, no. When I was 15, I was still making uneven blankets because I kept forgetting to chain one at the end of a row. Yeah. Ooh. This is one of the reasons I got this, this magazine. This was one of the patterns. It's an intermediate. Um, you need four weight yarn. It calls for red heart soft, but you can use whatever four weight you want. And it also calls for red heart with love. An H hook. And I think it's lovely makes me happy I don't know I even love the colors and I'm not usually pastel-y it just it makes me happy and we have too many blankets so I would make it and then probably like donate it to the bookstore to raffle off for charity Ziva you are giving them motion sickness honey yes you are but it's called i didn't even tell you what it was called and now ruby's scratching herself right up against the tree <laughs> puppy quake it's a puppy quake okay vintage ornaments afghan did i even tell you that no but um yeah it calls for one skein each of bubblegum, aqua, and corn silk, and 12 balls, which are 256 um, yards each of off-white. So it comes to 52 inches square, so that's a pretty good size blanket. Yeah, I think I will make that so that it's ready next year for the bookstore so they can raffle it off because this year they're uh, doing another quilt but yeah that would be nice to get them and oh it's a basket i love making baskets i do oh and this one they put a plant in this one's easy no place like gnome basket ready you ready for the cuteness he's so cute i i i didn't try I'm not usually with the trends, but I like the gnomes. I, I like the gnomes. Everybody likes the gnomes. I don't usually, I'm not a trend person, but gnomes I do like. It's not because everybody likes them, it's just something I like. So, no place like gnome basket. This one says, easy, um, they use Premier and Basic Medium, it's a four weight, um, so two skeins, one skein, and a small amount for his nose. They probably didn't use a whole skein, but um, a J hook, an F hook, and small pound, amount of fiber fill, make his little nose bulbous. He's cute. Make them in all different colors. 
Gnomes are all year. Christmas acorn ornament. Okay. Oh, they look happy. It's a one super fine. Well, yeah, to get it that... Or you could use something bigger to make them bigger. Um, and a C hook. We're going to go from the top because he's on the bottom of the page. They're happy acorns for your happy little tree. Happy little acorns for your happy little tree. Because a happy little squirrel lives in there. Yes, they do. So, there's that. And you gotta have some sort of pot holder, trivet, or washcloth in every magazine. Peppermint twist trivets. And these are actually intermediate. So, li Lily sugar and cream. And a size 8 hook. And we all know Lily sugar and cream is a medium weight. Now, it's probably intermediate because it's got you're using two yarns and you're switching back and forth and it's got some sort of it's got a puff oh a puff stitch but yeah you're uh switching back and forth that's actually really pretty and it says it's a twist stitch so maybe there's some sort of something going on oh i'm getting near the end I am literally on the last page. I'm not so sure about... I don't know. I have a thing about dolls. My sister collected porcelain dolls. My mom, being as she is, would go to thrift stores. Ziva, stop! Alright, it's not a ruby this time, it's a Ziva. Alright. Baby, lay down. Lay down for mama. Yes, hugs are nice. Hugs are nice. You need to lay down. But anyway, she would go to thrift stores. And here's the thing. She had a need. She is a hoarder. She had a need to purchase. Even if we couldn't afford it, she had to purchase. And knowing that my sister or I even just liked something, she would buy anything and everything that had anything to do with that. I liked horses. I, well, I loved horses. I liked wolves. I was inundated with anything that had a wolf on it or a horse for years until I was sick of them. My sister collected porcelain dolls. She had a million and one porcelain dolls and they freaked me out. So, Dish Towel Owl, Elf. Burnett Handicrafter Cotton Medium, four. It's an easy pattern. Um, one ball each, country red, white, off-white, warm brown, size G hook, fiber fill, safety eyes, sew on snaps, a dish towel, and then a rotary cutter with perforating blades so you can put the dish towel underneath. I'm not making this. It's not coming in my house. Most things that have human-like faces that can look back at me, no. I just don't do them. So, she's just a little too much like a doll. Yeah. The rest of you are welcome to buy this pattern, make her, enjoy her. <laughs> anyway, so I think she may have been the last. 
Oh my gosh. She wasn't. There's this much magazine left. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, let me let me look. Oh, what is this? Introducing an exciting new pattern book from Annie's Crochet. It's a stash buster. Christmas. Let me show you all this. Look at all that. New. What does it say down here? It has the product code and retail for $12.99. There you go. Go on annies.com and there's your product code. Okay. Okay. My legs are cramping. I am... What was I thinking? Holiday Home Cozy and Placemat. Oh, so it's a mug cozy and a placemat. And this was another one that I really liked because I am a texture freak. It's a four medium, anti-pilling everyday worsted medium acrylic yarn premieres. Um, two balls really red and one ball fern green. I will show you the picture. The mug cozy is a round mug and there's the placemat. I really like them. And it's an intermediate. I would do that because I like texture. Ooh, table runner. See, they do that, and that's an intermediate, and it's just texture. This one is a graph, and it's easy. It's color work. It's a Nordic table runner, and they have it in DK weight. They use Omega Symphonia Light DK Weight Mercerized Cotton Yarn. See, I would use cotton on my placemats too because stuff gets spilled on them all the time. But, you know, to each their own. Anyway, this is lovely. Let's get it all in there. Reindeer snowflakes. Just lovely. And the finished measurement on this is 16 and a quarter inches <coughs> wide by 40 inches long. 40 inches. That's pretty big. I make this is long. I'm so sorry. Oh, I loved this blanket too. I like the colors they used. Okay, this is easy. Holiday Delight Lapgan. Actually, don't have any Christmas blankets in the house. They're all like fall colors because that's what we like, so we leave them out all year. They use Lime Brands Vanish Choice. I thought Vanish Choice was discontinued. So why would they put it in a magazine? I have no idea. I really don't know anything about yarns unless people on YouTube tell me about them because I don't go out and buy them. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's an acrylic. They used one skein of brick and two skeins each of linen, sh linen shadow, and silver heather. Ooh, pretty names. And this measures 34 inches wide by 48 inches long. Pretty, pretty. Because it's like solid in some areas and airy in others. I kind of like it. Hey, don't you growl at your sister. She does that to get her to play. All right, pattern. Patterns. It's doing the continued bits from other patterns. Okay. Ooh, here's that Christmas tree skirt. Are they? They are. It's an entire Christmas tree skirt made out of size 10 th crochet thread. Um, I don't think I'll be making it. <laughs> it's filet. But it's made with a steel crochet hook. This is my, I just tasted something I'm not pleased with, Fizz. Mm, okay. Okay. Oh, it's tied together with ribbon. How sweet. Okay, it's an easy pattern. Yeah, 
I don't know, just working with crochet thread, I think it needs to be put into like intermediate category. Okay. Is this for a table? This has got to be for like a table tree because the center opening is only three and three quarter inches. No, wait, what's a, a regular tree is how thick it's got to be bigger than three and three quarter inches. So this has got to be for like a, a, a baby tree. I don't know. I haven't had a live tree for, for a long time because we've lived in a small space. Okay. I don't know because it says it's 38 inches across from point to point. So maybe it is for a regular tree. All right. Stop getting in your head, Mel. All right. So each panel is 15 and a quarter inches tall and 18 inches wide at bottom. So it's got to be a regular tree. All right. Thir yeah. Aunt Lydia's size 10 crochet cotton. And it's 350 yards per ball, and you need four balls of antique white. Use a size 7 steel crochet hook or size needed to obtain gauge. And that's a 1.65 millimeter. 24 inch piece pieces of coordinating quarter inch ribbon, two of them. And a tapestry needle, stitch markers, heavy spray starch. And this is the beauty that you make. I would like to make that beauty. But, hmm. Now, I have steel crochet hooks that have little... Ruby! Your butt! No, 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 no! Hey! We are not rolling over into the camera. No. <sighs> My production crew. I have little steel crochet hooks and they have wooden handles on them so I can, you know, grip them better. So I could try. And then, oh, look. Yeah, they have little graphs for your fillet. Block, space, that kind of thing. You were, no. You were staying up here. Go lay down. So lay down. Now this was something else I saw that looked wonderful. But wow. Granny Square Tree. This is a size 20 crochet. Metallic crochet thread. Wow. One ball each. Four balls iridescent. One ball each silver and gold dust. And then size 10 which is a 1.15 millimeter steel crochet hook. I, see, I don't know if I want to do that because that's even more insane. And that one is intermediate. And also, I hate sewing. I hate sewing together squares. So, and if they're this big. <laughs> okay, ready for it? This is awesome. But look how tiny those squares are. No. Okay. Some things. I don't like sewing together regular size squares. Okay. Oh. And apparently they were doing a crochet along called Resplendent Squares. And this is the final part. Part six. So I got... I got the final part of a crochet along. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you the blanket. It's lovely. Square 11 and square 12. And it's crochet cotton thread. Oh, wow. Crochet a kitty couch. I have so many kitty couch patterns. Yeah. I have kitty couch patterns. I have kitty RV patterns. I do. I have kitty mushroom patterns. And that 
is the end of the book. In the back it shows you the stitch guide. And then, yes I will, it shows you on what pages everything is. And this is how I figured out if I wanted to get the, the book or not, the magazine. Because there was enough in here that it seemed like a great deal for $5.99. Because one pattern can cost $5.99. So, I hope you enjoyed this rambunctious, rip-roaring, puppy quake. Um, just out of this world <laughs> flip through of Crochet World um, Christmas Edition apparently Winter Edition Christmas Edition doesn't say anywhere but on display until December 26, 2022 and if you want to go get one it will be there I got mine at Wise Markets um so local grocery stores and I hope you have a wonderful day I love you all shine bright like the stars you are and my dogs are now calm of course after it's all over have a great day guys bye